In this video, I'm going to talk about the weather station that I just installed. So I've wanted a weather station for a long, long time. I've always wanted a Davis. They're considered one of the best, at least for the home weather station level or for the small farm weather station. And to be honest, they were just always out of my price range, or at least out of the price range that I could justify for a home weather station. This one came up on Marketplace. And you know, the price is between me and the seller, but let's just say it was very affordable. And so I jumped on the opportunity and it was in a different state. Um, so I got it shipped, got it here for a very cheap price, and it's excellent. So anyway, how did I install it? Well, I had some of this steel pipe laying around. I've actually got the rest of it. There's some over there and some elsewhere in the property to make a nursery or a greenhouse eventually. Um, so I had some lying around. So what I did, I started by painting the first meter or so of the pipe, just with some kill rust, and that was red. That's just what I had. But yeah, I painted the kill rust so I could cement it in concrete, obviously, and it wouldn't corrode, or it, at least it'd take a very, very long time to start corroding. This is galvanized pipe, but as you probably know, pipe in concrete, if the water can get in there, it's actually worse than just being in soil. It'll rust very, very quickly. And so I painted it with kill rust before I concreted it in the ground. Then I cut the pipe, and I forget the exact length I cut it to probably about oh, I must have been about 2.6 well no it must have been about three meters because I ended up having to cut this shorter so I had about three meters of pipe I dug down around 600 millimeters and then I put the pipe in the hole filled it with concrete and concreted it in about 200 millimeters below this point so roughly 100 millimeters below the surface of the soil I put down a small section of PVC pipe and so then I filled soil around the PVC pipe so there's a big concrete cylinder underground until about 200 mil below that pipe and then I just concreted on the inside of the pipe the reason for that was I wanted to bring the level up above the level of the ground so any water that falls here will run away it won't sit up against the pole so that's the first reason the second reason is um, I want to make this easy to clean around and I'll get into one of the reasons why shortly but yeah I wanted to keep this easy to maintain around this post so 600 deep so I had about what 2.4 meters of pipe out of the ground which was a bit tall so I did some reading and they said your weather station if it's in a fairly open area should be between five and six feet above the ground I believe it was um, for again the reasons I'll explain shortly I wanted to go as high as possible so this is no it was between 1.5 and 2 meters I think I'll put it up on the screen whatever it was but I went for the highest height which is 2 meters so this is at 2 meters high then I had to get just one of these u-bolts and that's how you install the Vantage Vu just with a u-bolt you can pick those up at any hardware store and so you put the pipe up into a ready-made section in the bottom of the Vantage Vu, put the U-bolt through, and that's how it's held on. In the top, there is a level, and so obviously for the rain tipper that's inside to work properly, you have to have the level perfect, or you have to have the level pretty accurate. Uh, so to get it perfectly level, I mean, <laughs> when I installed this post, I was using a level. It's as level as I could get it. Uh, but it was still off a little bit. Obviously the level in the top of the vantage view is a little bit more sensitive And so you can see I've used a tiny little spacer there, which was just a cut pot and That helps tilt it slightly when I tighten it. So it is level on top Now what is my eventual plan for this area? <laughs> Sorry about the yard. It's been very wet here. I haven't been able to mow um, So it's looking looking a bit rough so anyway this is the site of the new veggie gardens. Um, you may have seen this in the past when I had it all working. It's gone to ruin a little bit, but that'll be updated very, very soon. But anyway, this is gonna be the end of the veggie garden. And so I'm gonna grow a muscadine trellis along here. And I'll make a video on that when I do it. But it's basically gonna serve as a, a divider between the veggie garden and over there, which will be food forest. 
mostly food forest, a bit of open field for other reasons I'll get into in the future. And so there's going to be a line of raised soil down here with a pole on that end and a pole up this end. And so I'll have two muscadine vines in between those two lengths of trellis. So this will serve as the middle post. That's why I wanted to put it as high as possible because it's going to be above a muscadine trellis. That's also why I wanted to raise this up a bit because this is going to be slightly raised through here where that trellis is. And obviously I want to be able to clear under the trellis so I'm going to go through there with the string trimmer from time to time and having that protection around the post will ensure that I don't nick it and open up a an possible zone for rust to occur through the paint. Obviously I've also painted the pole to match some of the other structures around the property. This is woodland grey. Speaking of woodland grey, the tank I installed recently on video, which is also woodland grey, has pretty much filled with all the recent rain, so it's almost there. Easy way to check the level of a tank, so I'll step back, you can see how big it is. This is 11,500 litres. Full up to there. Full up to there. Full up to there. Full up to there. Ooh. Hear the difference? That's how you know it's starting to get empty. So here how it changes. So it's full to about there. Right near the top. So that's how much rain we've had in the last few days. So the weather station, it does wind direction, wind speed, rain gauge, so the rain falls down inside. The rain falls down inside that tipper and there's a little tipper inside that tips back and forward and measures the amount of rain that falls in. It does humidity and temperature. Okay, so that's what it's measuring here. There is a battery in it and it is solar powered. So as long as that battery is good and it'll hold the charge, this won't need replacement batteries. It charges itself. And you can see the little antenna on top. That's because it's a wireless system and it transmits wirely, wirely, it transmits wirelessly to a uh, little console inside. So let's go inside and have a look at that. This is the console. Hey, there's my microphone and my ugly mug in the reflection. Um, this console, very high quality. Everything from Davis is very high quality from what I see. Uh, I should add though, I am by no means a, a weather weather station expert. This is the first one I've ever had. I could never justify, I wanted a good one. I wanted a Davis or something of similar quality and they're expensive. You have to pay for quality and I couldn't justify it. So this is the first weather station I've ever had. Uh, so you've got your light, you can turn it on and you can look through historical data. Now I'm still starting to learn this, so I'm not gonna show you how to do anything. Uh, you can see right now we've got five kilometer per hour winds coming from the yeah, no, north, slightly northeast um, from that direction, it's just just dropped to three, up to five. And you saw when we were outside before, the wind was really whipping through, so we might see this go up and down. Obviously, you've got time, um, inside and outside temperature. So this takes the temperature from the console, and it also takes, obviously, the, the parameters that the weather station's reading. So you can see in my office, it's 26 degrees Celsius, out where the weather station is, it is 28 degrees Celsius. Inside, 56% humidity, only 13% outside, obviously with that wind ripping through. Uh, you've got your pressure, so I didn't mention that it read that before, but it does read pressure. Dew point, how much rain we've had today, four millimeters. So we had a bit of rain overnight and a bit of hail actually, um, but there was a lot before 12. So my understanding is this is from, from 12 p.m. No, 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Um, midnight. That's what I'm trying to say. This is from midnight. So four mils from midnight. And the max rain rate was actually 69 mils per hour. It was super heavy for a little bit there. And still learning all this. So again, this isn't a how-to, but you can get some of your historic data. So in the last month, we've had 86 mils, which is all that rain I told you about. 
in the last year, 517. Now that's not my data, that's data from the guy I bought it off. And obviously the rain gauge tipping back and forth in transport. So that number's nonsense. And a little bit of the month, the month data is nonsense too. I haven't reset it. So there was uh, maybe, maybe 20 mil of that isn't true from when I set it up two weeks ago. Um, but we have had a, a lot of rain. So anyway, that's the console, still learning how to use it. So again, not a how to. I've got it on the stand, but I may hang it on the wall here. To the left is the veggie garden. So it'll be really nice one day outside my office window. Yeah, so that's it. Got to learn how to use it, reset it, so I can uh, start recording the data. Eventually, eventually, I would like to be able to access this data from anywhere. So there's a few things you can do that. Maybe in the future, if I learn how to do it, I'll share it. But at this stage, I don't know. I am a beginner to all of this. I know there's a weather link you can add if you have a look what, what actually runs this console. This is run on batteries. You can get um, uh, AC power supply, so I'll do that eventually. Um, but there's a spot for a, a, it says expansion. I think that might be for the weather link. I don't know. So I've got to learn more about all of this. Uh, but I just thought I'd, I'd share something I was a little bit excited about and and how I set it up out in the yard. Anyway, that's more of an update than a how-to. I don't want to share this in any way as a how-to. You know, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I've done everything wrong. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.